If you enjoy the topics and videos you see here on Power of Thought, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It would really help to support us. Music and the soul can be heard by the universe. Many of us have heard the wise quotes of Eastern philosophers at some point in our lives, but few of us truly understand what they really mean. Well, this is because we are trying to understand them in the first place. In this video, we will explore Taoism and the idea of the Tao, otherwise known as the Way. In our culture, we are pressured to have plans, goals, and a future we can lay out plain and simple to anyone who asks. People ask questions like, what do you do? And where do you see yourself in 10 years? As if not knowing what the future holds is something we need to fix about ourselves. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. We work tirelessly day and night to achieve goals that never satisfy us in the present and often disappoint us in the future. We shame ourselves for not taking action and particularly for not knowing what action to take. In this frantic scramble, we waste our time, energy, and youth trying to grind towards something we hardly understand at all. What we need is not to relentlessly take action, but to learn to focus, to know which action is right for that moment and to let life happen otherwise. In other words, we need to learn how to get in the zone, the art of the flow, to connect with the Tao. The state where professional athletes, soldiers, and martial arts masters seem to operate on pure feeling, having total confidence in what will happen next by going with the flow. Here are five lessons to help you achieve the state of flow from Taoist master Lao Tzu. Those who know do not speak. Those who speak do not know. We tend to think that people who are good at arguing, fast with the comeback, and quick to remember a statistic or point that helps them trounce their verbal opponent are smart people. The truth of the matter is that those people who know, those who truly know, have very little to say at all. The world is complex and nuanced. Nothing is black and white. There is a difference between someone who is persuasive and someone who is knowledgeable. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everyone will respect you. We compete because we believe our worth lies in our comparison to others. We are taught that it is our compassion and status that dictates how we should feel about ourselves. The truth though is that such comparisons are illusions. They only exist because we bring it into being by the act of comparison. This is a perfect example of the Taoist principle of action by inaction. In other words, we can achieve the relaxed state we desire by simply doing less. In this case, comparing and stacking ourselves to others. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Love is a concept that takes many different forms. Lao Tzu is highlighting what love means for the person in love and what the act of love really has to offer us. While being loved can give us strength while it's going strong, it also leaves us vulnerable to weakness when we lose that love from another. So instead of always looking for the love and attention from others to know our worth, we must focus on how we express our love to the world. This can come in the form of a relationship, a love of nature, or an appreciation for all kinds of aspects of life. Regardless, find what you love and love it passionately. A man with outward courage dares to die. A man with inner courage dares to live. We have seen so many stories of great warriors who pursued glory on the battlefield and great individuals of history who built empires, both physical and financial, and we have modeled much of our definition of greatness off this striving to conquer and master the world around us. But the truth of the matter is that true courage comes from taking one's own path, not by taking from others and shaping the world around you out of a blind drive to succeed, but by knowing oneself and pouring all we have into it, by loving deeply that which is really for us, not taking that which we think others want. At the center of your being, you have the answer. You know who you are, 
and you know what you want. In the state of flow, when one is fully connected with the way, one knows who they really are. You see, Taoism is not about sitting back and giving up your stake in life. It's about not grabbing on to every single thing that passes us by. About looking inward to find true peace and clarity about what to do and when to do it. Because most of our pain in life comes from trying so hard to be something that we are not.